1946, the Joint Commission of the Soviet Shipbuilding Ministry and Navy was deciding the fate of the lead Sovietsky Soyuz class battleship, which hadn't been completed due to the war and remained on her slipway in Leningrad. Two choices were under consideration, either dismantle the ship or finalize her construction utilizing an altered project. They eventually went with the first option and the ship's hull was scrapped for metal in 1948. But what would have happened if the second proposal had been approved? We tried to imagine how a battleship created with the Sovietsky Soyuz hull and new armament systems might have turned out. Twin main turrets with 457 mm guns were suggested for the project of a quote-unquote small 1951 battleship that was an alternative to the new large battleship of the Project 24, armed with triple turrets and that is presented in our game as Kremlin. The secondary battery was replaced with dual-purpose 152 mm BL-115 mounts, the same that can be found aboard cruiser Ochakov. The production of their prototypes commenced in 1954. The ship's AA defenses consisted of quadruple and coupled 57 mm ZIF mounts, 32 guns in total, and their serial production started in the mid-1950s. Near the city of Nanjing are huge tomb monument stretches from the foot of the Purple Mountain up to the top of its 450 meter peak. Since 1929, this has been the final resting place of one of the most revered political figures of the country. The symbol of China's national unity and revival, the man heralded with the title Father of the Nation, the first president of the Republic of China, Sun Yat-sen. But why am I suddenly talking about China? When we created this project of a mid-1950s battleship with new gunnery and radio-electronic equipment in World of Warships, we assumed that the ship could have been granted by the USSR to China, and she was fit to carry the name of such an outstanding historical figure of the Middle Kingdom. So, let me present to you Pan-Asian Tier 9 battleship Sun Yat-sen. Sun Yat-sen compensates for her small number of main battery guns with good accuracy and damage. It will be a terrifying nightmare for any captain, even those at the helms of battleships with the thickest armor, to be on the receiving end of a salvo from her six 457mm guns. Firing over medium ranges is optimal for the battleship. Her solid armor means that she takes less damage and can endure incoming enemy fire. Sun Yat-sen is equipped with decent AA defenses and the defensive AA fire consumable, which means that she can also successfully withstand airborne attacks. However, the ship's concealment isn't the best, and focused fire from several enemies can heavily damage the battleship, especially if she starts to burn. The ship's consumables, in addition to defensive AA fire, include damage control party and repair party. I recommend installing the following upgrades. Main Armaments Modification 1, Damage Control System Modification 1, Aiming Systems Modification 1, Damage Control Systems Modification 2, or Steering Gears Modification 1, Concealment System Modification 1, and Main Battery Modification 3, or Gunfire Control System Modification 2. It's time for our traditional Armada giveaway. The main prize is an Admiral Pack containing the ship, a 10 skill point commander, a port slot, and a commemorative flag. It will be credited to one of our subscribers who hits the like button under this video and answers the following question correctly. Near what city is the memorial to the first president of the Republic of China, Sun Yat-sen, located? To participate in the giveaway, you must share your nickname and the server you play on in your comment with the correct answer. Good luck in battle, Captains!